Oh, here we go. Going on the boat, getting off the boat, something. I, I'm not sure which. I guess getting off the boat. Uh, oh, maybe we'll see some more pier people. Somebody's waving. That must be Lou, I think. Can't see him very clearly. That looks like Daisy, Daisy with a cap on. Daisy was Lou's wife. Um, I don't know. I can't. Somebody in there is related. <laughs> I really can't tell. Oh, that looks like Jack. Oh, I don't know. No, can't tell. No, and the boats would come out to meet you and so forth and so on. Oh, what are we doing? Coming back to Bermuda? Yeah, we're coming back. Yeah. Where are we? I'm lost for a moment. We're coming back to Bermuda. That looks like me and Grandpa. So what are we doing there? I don't know when. Oh, there we all are. There's Lester. Uh, oh, this is the summer of 38 when there were 11 of us living in a house for about four in Somerset. There's the house Peace Haven was called. And I went down two weeks early with Grandpa. And I had just graduated high school, so as a present, we went down and looked for a house. That's Lester on the right, Bruce and Daniel. And hey, Lester came down, there's Grandma. And let's see who else was there. It was a cru Somerset is all the way out at the end of the island. And there's Grandma. That's the boat we rented. I'll have to tell you about the Bang and Go Back race. They had a race, and you had to go out and come back at the same speed, and you presumably made up your, your speed on the turn. And we went out, but Grandpa was always thinking, he decided going out, everybody would stand up, and there'd be a lot of wind resistance. And then coming back, we would all lie down, and then we'd go faster. And sure enough, we came in fourth with 11 people in the boat. They gave us a fourth prize or something like that. That's, we went to an island, but those are a couple of local boys, and who's here? Yeah. And that's Peace Haven, that's Daniel and Lester. And that's Grandma. And that's me. Of course. Oh, me is Naomi, you understand. And that's uh, Susabella, I guess. I don't know who it is. Okay, and there's the boat. Mm hmm. Oh, there we are. There's Peace Haven. Used to go out and fish, catch fish for breakfast. Lester liked to do that. He would catch these little butterfish. And there he is. That's Lester lying there. Daniel, Ruth. That's the bay. And I know definitely this is 1938. There's Lester again. And Grandma. And me. I'm surprised Grandpa let her drive the boat on. I guess out in the middle of the bay he wasn't so worried. Now who is that swimming? That looks like Israel Goldstein. Oh, Dan, you know what? I'm, wait a minute, I don't recognize.
recognize too many of these people, but that looked like Rabbi Israel Goldstein, who was the father of one of Ruth's classmates at Walden School, but who became a very important man in, uh, not B'nai Brits, one of them, uh, well, being one of the Jewish organizations, he became a chief rabbi or there's something. There he is, in the blue shirt. I'm pretty sure that's who it is. Came down to visit. And he was supposed to marry us, but they had two blooms getting married the same day at the temple, and so somebody else married us. Um, there's Grandpa and myself catching the fish for breakfast. That was the hall. <coughs> Here we are on the boat. <laughs> oh boy, that's a big one. That's a meal for everybody. Don't tell me Grandma's going to go down that slide. That was our waterfront. That was very nice. That's Grandpa. No, I guess she never made it. Alright, here we are in town. And uh, here we are. You know what? I think this is going to be a cricket match. I think that's where we are. We're sitting and watching a cricket match. Oh, they just made a point after an hour and a half or something like that. A terribly slow moving game. Yeah, that's where we were. Oh, there's Gus Cass and Shirley. That's Lucille's mother and uh, mother and sister. And they came down to stay. This is what lived in the house. Uh, uh, let's see who else I see there. Oh, there's Norma Prince up there drinking something. And Grandpa... That's Lester playing his banjo, Grandma Kate, and there's Daniel with his accordion. Oh, we had a musical game. I'm surprised we haven't seen Grandpa play his uh, harmonica yet. That's Norma Prince. Oh, that's Nancy Markoff. She was a friend of the family. She stayed in the house for a while. I was Shirley, Ruth. Nancy and Grandma, and Gus Cass was always knitting, and Shirley, and Norma. Rose, and there's Daniel with his accordion. <laughs> Played fairly well, considering. Did pretty well. There's Grandpa making his cane. Oh, he worked very hard on that. And here we are. That's Gus Cass. And uh, Daniel and Lester. Myself and Shirley. <laughs> Min oh, that's Aunt Min with the braids. She came there. She, uh, Nancy Markoff was a friend of Aunt Min's. And that's Grandma and Grandpa and Sh Lester and Gus. What a gay summer we had in that. So, Grandpa and Nancy. That's me. Rose, Minnie, my mother, Shirley, Gussie, Daniel, Lester. I don't know what we were looking at. I don't know whether we expected anybody. Maybe we were waiting for somebody to come down. We didn't have enough in the house. Oh, 
Oh, Nancy Markov is going back. That's where she's waving at me. Mm-hmm. Where is it? Long time ago. That's Grandma Ruth. Oh, those are the two ladies who took care of our house. If you think I remember their names, the two sisters. And then I guess, uh, yeah, they were very nice. They were local girls, and they were, they put up with all of us. <laughs> yeah, men. Yeah, now here we go, we, it's Rose. Who's that? Oh, that's Cy Zucker. That's um, uh, Cynthia Zucker was Norma's sister. Jane Prince was the head of the Women's League for Israel, and her kids were. We were all good friends. And that was Cy Zucker, so I guess Cynthia must be there someplace. I didn't see her for the moment. Uh, yes, the truck and the tandem. Oh, that's, uh, that must be Cy and Cynthia. <laughs> and that's Gussie knitting away. Ruth was doing something knitting, I guess. We all that surely. Oh, there are the cats. They were cute. Now, what did we get here? It's Lester Daniel, Grandpa. He must have picked up something. Okay. Gussie. Daniel and Kate across the island, Peace Haven. Maybe we were going home, I don't know. That's Min. It's me, Lester, Rose. My goodness, I guess we're going home. We're taking everything home. I don't know what we had, but we had to go back by railroad. Oh, the trunks and everything else. You know, when you come for a summer, tennis records. I wonder how much tennis we played. And... What else are we doing? Daniel is still playing his accordion. We haven't seen Grandpa play his harmonica. He is the whole wandering Jews, I guess is what you would call us. Up, oh, Dan. The two girls. And here we are on the boat, I guess, leaving Hamilton. This time people are saying goodbye to us. And they always followed the ship with other ships, welcoming and saying goodbye. Uh, here we are again. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is coming or going. <laughs> Probably it was returning to New York or maybe leaving Bermuda. I can't see the scenery yet. But they always followed ships in those days. I guess they still do. This looks more like Bermuda ships here. This is Bermuda we're leaving. And those are the ships that followed it. Gave them a great thrill, I guess, to follow it. There we are on the boat. That's Grandma, Daniel, Grandpa, Min, me. Yeah, I'm cute looking here. <laughs> uh.